So I want to talk now about something we did for the first time, which is an online dial test. And what we talked about here is we have a woman, an actress, who played the president of a company. Let me tell you a little bit about what we did. We had 36 working from home Americans watch a two minute video embedded in an online survey. This is separate from the broad survey that we did. We did an add on survey for the sake of this exercise. The respondents were told, you're gonna to see a video that could be from the president of any small or mid-sized business in America that operates out of an office, but where the employees currently are working from home. I'd like you to imagine for the sake of this exercise, the person in the video is your boss and has made this video to send to all employees. So what the respondents did was they watched the video, that's the actress playing the, the president of the company, and she re you'll see the video in a moment, but as the respondents were watching the video, they moved that little red dot back and forth between zero and 100 in real time as they listened to what she said. If they strongly disliked what she said, they turned it to the left down to zero. If they strongly liked it, they turned it up to 100. And we took a reading from everybody's moment-to-moment uh, -moment response, literally second by second. And the output you're gonna see is going to look like an EKG with a line moving up and down on the screen. Before I play this video, let me explain what you're watching. The y-axis is the scale from 0 to 100. You're just seeing the middle part of the scale between 30 and 80. The video is going to start at 50, and the line is going to migrate from left to right across the screen. As you watch it, you'll see the three different age groups represented on the screen. And pay particular attention to the purple line. Those are the people 55 and older because you're going to see that they respond quite differently than the other two younger age groups. Make sure your volume is turned up for this, too. Good news. Local authorities have given us the all clear to open our offices on June 15th. On that date, we expect our staff to report to work in their assigned office location. We continue to prioritize the safety of our staff and have thoroughly planned our return to in-person operations. We will follow CDC guidelines with precautions that include providing masks, hand sanitizer, and disinfecting wipes throughout the office, screening employees and visitors for fevers, maintaining social distancing, and increasing the frequency of professional cleaning within the building. We are all in this together and I'd like to offer some additional thoughts. We are dedicated to providing a clean office, but it is impossible to ensure a 100% virus-free environment where people gather for an entire day. We are requiring each and every employee to take ownership of their safety and health by wearing recommended PPE, washing their hands thoroughly, and staying six feet apart. These measures decrease your chances of catching COVID-19. Any employee who doesn't feel well with potential symptoms of COVID-19 should get tested and work from home until they feel better. Lastly, if one of our colleagues were to come down with COVID-19, we will notify everyone in our organization. That said, there are many different places where someone can be exposed to the virus, so it would be difficult to confirm it originated in our workplace. It is in our business's best interest to go back to normal activities as soon as we can. That includes operating out of our office. We look forward to seeing you on June 15th. Please contact me if you have any questions. Thank you. So we were curious as to why people 55 and older push back on this. And in the study, after they saw the video, people got to type their responses and answer some questions. Here's some commentary from the, those older uh, respondents. One woman said, it was the company's expectations for everyone to return to the workspace regardless of how people felt. There was no choices. There was no options to work from home if people can be productive. There was no special cases for people who have health issues. And another person said, in all caps, as you note, the company doesn't seem to really care about employees and is just covering their asses. Meanwhile, those under 35 
they embraced what, what they heard in the video. I think that the video is very encouraging by helping people be hopeful about the coronavirus, said one woman. Another one said they can allow people to work from home if they have symptoms. And a gentleman said she wants to make sure everyone is safe and understands what to do when going back to work. So different age groups, vastly different responses to the exact same message. 